too. Martha, I'm here. Oh yeah, you're there. Okay, and Pat here. So as chair of the Rochester Select Board, I find that due to the state of emergency declared by Governor Scott as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic and pursuant to ad addendum six to executive order 01-20 and act 92, this public body is authorized to meet electronically, which we are doing. In accordance with act 92, there is no physical lo location to observe and listen contemporaneously to this meeting. However, in accordance, with the temporary amendments to the open meeting law, I confirm that we are A, providing public access to the meeting by telephone, video, or other electronic means using the Zoom platform for this remote meeting. Wait. All members of the of board have the ability to communicate and contemporaneously and with this meeting through this platform, and the public has access to, to contemporaneously listen and, if desired, participate in this meeting by contacting the town clerk to request an invitation to the meeting. We previously well. gave notice when to the public of the necessary information for accessing this meeting, including how to access the meeting using assessed. the telephone, video, or other electronic means in our posted meeting agenda, and instructions have also Thank been you, posted Lord. I think that, on uh, the town website. Something and we're hearing from we everyone. Going I, don't, to, um, I don't think provide a mechanism uh, for the public to alert the public body or? during the meeting if there is a no, problem with access. If anybody has a problem, a great job. please call me okay. at 802 <laughs> 767 Can I make a comment in response to, to more the problem comments? with your Certainly connection? Robert. or what have you. Um, and continuing I, the meeting I if necessary in the event of the public is unable to access this meeting, it will be continued at a time and place. Going. Um, one um, concern that I had in okay. terms of the telehealth language that the legislature passed is that it is time limited, so if we were to come out of the state of emergency, and let's start uh, but, the meeting by taking a roll call attendance of all members participating the first of the year, in the meeting. There could be a so gap um, uh, there between the authority to continue telehealth. So and I just wanted I to see mention we have that because Frank Severy uh, here, Mark Sawyer, so Pat Harvey, someone at 802 767 4453. Would you like to announce yourself? Thank you, Robin. Nancy. Very good point. Nancy. Okay, Nancy. Other Willey. members of the public? Um, James Hall of Dubois King, Hi, Kevin yeah. Julie, Hi. the town clerk, Orca Media uh, is Mike Fisher, recording this for posterity. Uh, Brian uh, Austin Kevin is here, John Olin of Oil um, Tanner is here, Brad McCurrier, and there's um, another Nancy totally down understand, here. I uh, understand it makes sense why the perspective payments uh, have been other Nancy. so valuable other during Nancy. this time. When, okay, can't be uh, too. There's can't a great deal of anyway, non COVID um, care that has not That's been, everyone. We have 12 delivered. participants at the meeting. And we're here to um, the first piece on the agenda is to open some bids for Julie. Do you want to um, uh, read off the bids? and um, Or is it Joan? Would you like to read off the bids here? Uh, Joan, Joan is signing on right now. Okay. All right. Here we go. All righty, that'll add 13. Joan Allen, the uh, select board assistant is joining the meeting and she has got the um, bid information when she um, gets fully connected. Your audio is bad. Your audio? Can you hear me now? Now we hear you, Joan. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so I got, so you want to just give us a um, quick yes. preview of what these bids are for and, and how many we've got and who they're from? Sure. Um, this is for the design and engineering and permitting work on the uh, replacement for the West Hill Road Bridge. Yay. We're doing in cooperation with the U.S. Forest Service. And we have received four bids, one still at the printer, but I have a uh, little amount. So the first one is from VHB. And um, their amount is, oh, thank you. Their amount is, I can hardly read it, $3,533.25.
Okay, the second one is from Du Bois and King. And their proposal is um, $66,853. Third one is from Hoyle Tanner Associates. Royal Tanner, did you say? Royal, H O Y L E. Okay, thank you. Their total is. Oh my gosh. $135,221. And the fourth and final one, let me just double check, but I believe that will be the last. Uh, no, no new ones have come in. Okay, so the final one is from Weston and Sampson. And the amount is $147,996.65. Um, excuse me, Joan. The Got first it. one you read was for only 3,533? No. Okay, because that's, that's what I got too. I was saying, boy, that's That's what I've got too. <laughs> that's what I got uh, too. Sorry, uh, you might have missed one of my digits. If this is from VH. DHB, that's the one. Sixty-three thousand five hundred thirty-three dollars and twenty-five cents. So sixty-three thousand. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Sorry, I just thought that was a big gap there. Sorry. Mm -hmm. It was. It would be. And the Weston and Sampson is it spelled W-E-S-T-I-N? Hold on. W-E-S-T-O-N. Owen, thank you. <coughs> All right, so, um, we are not going to make a decision on those bids at the moment because we are um, going to have the engineers evaluate them and um, you know the people that know more than we do to help us with that decision. But um, thank you for the four bidders that, that brought that in and um, we'll let you know as soon as we've made a decision who's going to get the get the bid. Um, soon, um, I wasn't. Uh, Brian and I had an email exchange this morning, and uh, Brian is with U.S. Forest Service and another engineer. Uh, the two of them will be doing a technical review, and uh, we're expecting that they'll be able to give us uh, their recommendations by next Tuesday or around next Tuesday. Next which day? Next Tuesday. Is that right, Brian? Yes. Yeah. Yep. All right. Great. Thank you. So we'll be able to get back to everyone around that time. Great. All right. Thank you to all bidders for the work you've done so far. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank, thank you. All. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> and so there's a couple other um, pieces of business on the agenda. Here and one is the um, adoption of the local emergency management plan, um, which that's we have to adopt that by May 1st. And with that has the um, few modifications like the changing of the select board members and um, their member rather. Welcome, Frank. And I would um, I would move to adopt this local emergency management plan as um, updated. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That sounds unanimous, so we don't have to do a, a roll call vote. And the other piece of um, information that we want to deal with today is the um, revised delegation of authority, and which is um, 
relative to all this. And I'll, I'll read this out so we all um, know what's going on with it. I, Chief Executive Officer, or Chief Elected Official of Rochester, Vermont, hereby appoint Victor Rubato as incident commander for the period of 3-8-20 to 6-8-20 and have delegated to this individual the authority to perform the following functions. One, provide overall leadership and accountability to the select board for incident management. Uh, two, set the incident objectives, strategies, and priorities and three, delegate authority to others. Additionally, the following authorities have also been delegated to promote control of the spread of the coronavirus, provide for timely and useful public information about the pandemic and what people should do to better protect themselves from the coronavirus, access the availability and assess the availability in Rochester of free and low cost food to meet the need of residents who might have trouble affording sufficient food, plan for ways to address a gap between need and availability, provide ways to address unmet social service needs created or worsened by the pandemic, and brief the select board periodically on identified issues of concern and actions taken. The following restrictions have been set on this authority, and that is do we will not commit town funds beyond $5,000 without select board approval. And I would move to approve this delegation authority to Vic, um, our incident commander, for this um, current situation that we're experiencing. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. That's also unanimous. And uh, um, excuse me, Dune. Can I ask you one quick question before you sure. move on? Sure. Um, since I couldn't write down as, uh, everything you said that quickly um would you like me to forward you a copy of this yeah if you wouldn't mind do you have my news at our herald email right um why don't you just spell it out for me real quick so okay can... it's it's all lowercase letters so it's the word news n-e-w-s then the at sign and then o-u-r-h-e-r-a-l-d dot com so it should read news at our herald.com that's my direct email they gave me all right i'll um forward that to you yeah thank you i was just going to ask you if it was correct if it would be okay to just say he voted you voted to officially uh, appoint him as the incident commander but it'd be great to have the other stuff thank you yeah yeah sure sorry to interrupt you no that's okay that's why you're here that's why you're here uh let me get back out of this window and Okay, so um, anyone else have anything that they wanted to contribute to this um, to this meeting here? No, we've addressed everything that was warned. Yeah, except yeah. for the local uh, hazard mitigation plan, isn't that on there too? Um, nope that that happened at the um, at the last meeting. Okay, but it said something about ratifying adoption. It was on the oh, agenda. Oh, yeah, good point. That's we're going to. Um, I moved to ratify the decisions that were made at our first Zoom meeting, which predated the legal authority to have a Zoom meeting by a day. Um, we anticipated, I, we're under the understanding that the governor had made that um, declaration. We were a day or early. So I, I moved to ratify the decisions that were made <laughs> in that meeting, which was predominantly to adopt the um, local the hazard mitigation plan. I'll second that. I, I believe it's already done. But uh, well, go. it's, it doesn't hurt to extra let's, ratify let's, that. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Uh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, just to make sure all our T's are dotted and I's are crossed. That's correct. <laughs> the best we can go out. Put <laughs> Rochester. Yeah. So um, that was um, that was the the essence of our uh, um, special meeting. Is to um, exciting to hear that there's movement um, on the West Hill Bridge. That's um, you know, again, that was a, a target we thought was pretty far out in the future, and lo and behold. Um, here we go, it's happening. So um, just like Bethel Mountain Road got dumped in our lap uh, a year ago, mm -hmm. uh, and that's been dealt with. So 
and I'm glad to see that the frost heaves have calmed down on the upper half of Bethlehem Road. Not so bad. Yeah. yeah. They always do. Um, oh, here's somebody is waiting to get in in the, the meeting. I'll see who that is and see if they have any questions for us. They might have um, popped up there. Hey, Jack. Let's see if he is. Um... <coughs> hey, Jack. You hear us? Yes, I can. Um, so I, sorry, I see you're a little um, late to join the meeting. Do you have any any questions about what we just took care of, or you want us to summarize that? If you could summarize it, that'd be great. Um, yeah, we opened four bids for the West Hill Bridge, and um, we are not making a decision on those. Those are going to be evaluated by um, people a little more skilled in that field than us, but we hope to have a decision by next Tuesday. Do uh, you need to know what the bid amounts are? So when you say the bid amounts, yes, please tell me. Okay. Uh, uh... VHB submitted a bid of $63,533.25. Dubois and King submitted $66,853. Hoyle and Tanner bidded uh, $135,221 even. And Weston and Son bid $147,996 and 50, 65. 55 cents. June, I just got another one. It was, came in exactly at four o'clock. Exactly at four? Okay, if it came in exactly at four, why don't we add that to the okay, list? Okay, I just... You, um, you uh, came in, Jack. You helped us um, grab another that was, one. That was the one from off. Jack. All oh, right. Great. So um, what is that one, Joan? Hold on, I'm just opening it now. And read the, the name completely that it's from, because I don't know who Yes, I'll, I'll get there. Thank you. Uh, this is from Thornton Tomasetti. T-H-O-R-N-T-O-N. -T First word, second word, T-O-M-A-S-E-T-T-I. And hold on while I scroll down to, I haven't been able to print it out yet, uh, but I can scroll down to the amount. <laughs> Um, total proposed cost is $139,417.11. $139,000, $417.11. Thank you. All right. All right. Great. So we got five bits then. <clears throat> um, and then. Well, yep. yep. No, go ahead. Yep. Um, then on top of. Um, opening those bids, which I said we hope to have a decision by next Tuesday, um, and we'll notify all the all the bidders of that, and then um, make an announcement. Um, well, that will be the day after our next select board meeting. But we'll, yeah, um, I'll, I'll email everybody with the results. Okay. Yeah. And we be, also be great. adopted our local emergency management plan and um, delegated Vic. Um, Roboto for the authority as incident um, manager commander for this um, current pandemic situation, and that's the that's the, um, the action that we took. I think perhaps Joan should let the two engineering firms that were part of the beginning of the meeting know that a, a fifth bid came in. Uh, yeah. Okay, I can do yeah. that. Yeah. Who was, who was there? I didn't get a chance to see. Uh, du Bois and King and Hoyle Tanner. Okay, I'll let them know. All right. And thank you, Dune, for um, emailing me that extra info. I appreciate sure. it. Yeah, I'll do that um, directly. Okay. Um, is there anything else anyone would like to chat about while we're at an officially warned meeting? Okay. I'd just like to say thank you very much to the uh, town of Rochester for letting us uh, put it, submit a proposal to do the work there. Uh, we're pretty far down low on the uh, cost proposal piece, um, but I did just want to say thank you to the town and, and we wish you the, the best of luck. 
Um, I hope you have a chance and opportunity to read through all the technical proposals as well. Yep. And uh, Jack, I'm uh, not clear which company are you uh, associated and, with? And uh, um, Thornton Thomas Eddy. Okay. And that was 139,417. Yeah, 417. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah, thank you, Jack. Thank you. Pretty close time in there, buddy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. Yep. No. Yes. And right. uh, yep. We had um, some technical glitches, but yeah. Yeah, you made <laughs> close. it. Yep. Hooray. Um, does anyone else have anything else they'd like to mention at this? Um, now we're officially at a warned meeting. We we'll just move forward and we'll have a, a regular select board meeting next Monday night. So, um, we'll, see you then. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. We'll um, resume you later. Have a good Thank evening. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.